Hey guys, good morning. I'm shooting this maybe for YouTube, maybe for our own <laughs> enjoy archive for how we live through the great pandemic of 2020. We're heading to the uh, to the farmers market. The drive through. The drive through version. Why don't you tell everybody what we got going on? You're gonna have to hold the camera. So this is a first. You know, we love the Old Beach Farmer's Market. It's kind of our summer tradition. You need to put your seatbelt on. Yes, dear. <laughs> He's always out of compliance. But um, we love uh, to buy our produce from uh, organic farmers, and there's a Mennonite family who provides most of our meat. And we, you know, we've been going there over 10 years. We, we feel like we have a, a friendship with these folks. So they, they need to live, and uh, so they're going to continue offering their wares for pre-order, prepay, and then we're going to go pick it up. And we don't know exactly what the protocol is, but we'll soon find out. But uh, we just, we love all the creativity in problem solving uh, for these times and, and want to support, you know, the folks that, um, that, that we love and we love what they produce um, because we, we think it helps promote our health. And well it also we... tastes great. Yeah, that's another benefit. <laughs> when you get fresh food, <laughs> you know, every time we dig into a pork job, uh, a pork chop, uh, our bacon from our uh, from our folks full at, quiver. at Full Quiver is like these were a very happy animal because yeah. the taste is so much better because it's fresher than what you're buying at the store, which has been harvested. Who knows how long ago in the factory processing? You, I'm I'm over here. Oh, sorry. So <laughs> anyway, the taste it tastes much better. Yeah, uh, why don't you take it? I'll take it. Um, it's it's I don't know how to describe it. It's fresh. It's homegrown. It's pasture raised. It's the way it was meant to be. And I know we can't feed the world that way because the world has simply gotten too big. Maybe that's part of our problem. It's uh, Maybe it's nature telling us, hey, 7 billion is a bit much for human population. So anyway, I don't want to get on my soapbox. Hi, we're we got getting an order waiting for us. We hope. Oh yeah, no, you're good. Okay. 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 Maninos, Full Quiver, and Whole Body Health. Cool. Wonderful. Thanks. On the right, looks like Tracy. Um, so we're going to the. Here she is. We have orders. <laughs> we have our order place. Oh, okay, great. And there's extra today too. So Menino's is extra. Great. Yes, and you can purchase from them. And you've got Whole Body Health to your left, and they've got all their crunchy granola snacks. And I'm sure some of the meat vendors have extra um, eggs and meat. So please feel free to. Awesome. And thank Good. you for coming. Thanks well, for thanks doing for this. Absolutely. This. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so Tracy on the left here at Whole Body Health. That's our first stop. There's nobody here. Well, she's right there. <laughs> this is her. We need our provisions. We need our ration. What can we do for you? <laughs> Hi. Hey, Tracy. Um, so, Bryant is the last name. Yes, I got you. Yeah. I haven't tried your card yet, so I'll get it. Okay. Is there anything else you'll need? Uh, no. You get one half and one bunny tail, right? Yes, and hummus. And I'll take some of the, um, which one? The granola also, if you want to add that. I the, see, and the regular granola? The savory. Savory? Uh-huh. can do that. And that'll do it. How's this for shopping? It's awesome. <laughs> we love you. We love all of y'all. <laughs> I will add it to your order. Oh. Okay. You got it? Got it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay safe. We'll see you again. Okay, so now we're going to Mandino's. Hey, so we're the Bryants, and you've Bryants. yes. So you, you already have pre-order. Right? Pre-order. Yes. Awesome. And we've uh, I gave you my card. Yes. So. Bryant. Bryant. Uh huh. It should be um, meatballs, pomodoro. Uh, that's me. And tortellini. That's 
That's awesome. Do you need me to sign? Yes, yes ma'am. That's for you. And there's the sign copy. Are y'all trying to um, do something for your wait staff? Uh, we're doing everything for, it's all staff, period. That's what we're doing this for. Uh -huh. But um, are, you're, you're distributing tips yes, from today? Got to keep the economy moving. I appreciate it. Man. Provisioned up, we got to take all of our purchases and go through the decontamination process before we put it in storage, just to be on the safe side. Yeah. Well, one of the things we're doing to uh, pass the time during the coronavirus epidemic and uh, lockdown is we are attending a live jazz concert and happy uh, hour and happy hour with uh, with some bourbon. And you're thinking, how could you possibly do that? Well, it's a, what, what would you call it? It's a Facebook live stream. It's a Facebook live stream. Well, it's a virtual concert. Yes, and also thanks to Sherry and Les who invited us. Thank you, Sherry and Les, our friends who invited us. Uh, the gentleman we're watching is a local uh, celebrity. He is with a band that's been around for 50 plus years. Uh, uh, it's called the Rondells and he lives locally so he's putting on a live jazz concert jazz and wine art jazz and bourbon so uh from his home hmm? from his home from his home he said live from his den and uh it's it's good. it's uh quite it's quite nice it's kind of like being there and everybody there's i don't know how many viewers there are but uh it's uh what interesting solutions we come to develop for problems with technology, so you know, it almost makes me a little teary-eyed to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. I need to write a thank you message for him. It's really nice. Yeah. So, cheers. It's our Saturday night. Hey guys, we're uh, in violation of the quarantine regulations. We're uh, actually heading over to uh, barter some food for toilet paper. Well, that sounds clandestine and illegal, but really I'm heading over to my stepmom's house. Uh, I'm gonna drop off a uh, quart of homemade soup and a loaf of homemade bread. And uh, in exchange, I'm gonna get a couple of rolls of toilet paper. Uh, I was on the phone with her a couple days ago and as luck would have it, Gosh, back two, three months ago, she happened to go to Walmart to make an exchange, and because of the nature of the exchange, she was only given store credit. So she said, well, I know what I'll do. And so she goes to the back and gets the largest pack of toilet paper you could buy before any of this was on the horizon was you thought about being a problem. So she has like 50 rolls of toilet paper that uh, she said that if we needed some, she could hook us up. But I said, I don't want to take I don't want to just take free stuff from my stepmom, so uh, I said, tell you what, well, I'll bake you a loaf of bread and bring you a quart of homemade soup. She, and considering that she's stuck in the house all by herself, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit lonely. Well, I'm glad the exchange rate didn't change on my way over. Score, two rolls of toilet paper. We're off on a mission. Got the trailer attached to the spider for the first time, um, gosh, this riding season. So, 
What's our mission? Oh, it's a secret mission. No, it's not really. We're going to Walmart. And uh, I figure it'd be, the weather's nice, pick up groceries. But the, uh, I got pollen all over this thing, even though it was sitting in the garage. At the curbside pickup. That should be interesting. Let's see if I remember how to ride the spider with the uh, trailer attached. We're going to head over and use the uh, the curbside pickup. We call them, they bring the groceries out to us. We don't even have to get in close proximity to the uh, to the service provider. Way to keep the social distancing uh, going. They told us here in Virginia we are still probably two to three weeks before we reach our peak. So, uh, supposed to be peaking now in New York City. I remember we used to talk about the peak. It would be about the leave change, not an epidemic. How sad. Miriam's working from home again today. She's uh, got a routine. Uh, she works from home three days a week, goes in the office two days a week to uh, have the meetings with the command staff that she has to have. But it's a mild day out here. Looking forward to some springtime air. You know, I'm thinking it's fortunate that we weren't trying to do the Asphalt Odyssey this year, the original Asphalt Odyssey. And it's also a good thing I wasn't planning on a sequel this spring. Um, now that I've got a lot of time to spare, I am watching a lot of my uh, my own videos, uh, watching some other motorcycle travel videos, and uh, there is a publication that I uh, discovered uh, a couple years ago uh, called Roadrunner Magazine. Roadrunner as in the cartoon show, but it's about uh, motorcycle travel, and they've got a lot of videos uh, on YouTube, uh, some travel magazines, if you would, and they've just whet my appetite, so I've been throwing around some ideas about uh, an asphalt odyssey for uh, 2021. Probably uh, start working on nailing down an itinerary and a destination uh, in the fall, probably October, November, probably we'll have it nailed down. Providing that we, uh, we all survive this apocalypse. It is very odd. We live so close to uh, uh, our local grocery store and Walmart that, you know, we're over to the grocery store two or three times a week, it seems like. They're so close that we would refer to it as our pantry. But uh, not anymore. Sure, it's uh, Bryant, and I'm in spot number 11. What a great concept for service. You know, probably would never have used it if it wasn't for this uh, situation. Because, uh, well, you know, it's good to get out and get some walking in. Since I spend most of my time sitting behind a computer screen. So we're, we're really trying to limit our going into any, uh, any establishment whatsoever. Uh, just trying to keep the contact down as much as possible. How are you? Good. Yes. Yeah. My wife is going to be so happy for the Pellegrino Grigio. She's been trying to get that for weeks. Apparently. Much. Thank you. Friday, we made it through uh, another week, week four, 
and we haven't killed each other yet or I'm still waiting for her to put a pillow over my head and smother me to death in my sleep. <laughs> no, it worked. We're even kind of getting into our own weird rhythm of this new lifestyle. Yeah, and uh, I've spent time, uh, I'm going to regret it, but learning to cook different dishes. Today I made my first apple pie from scratch because I seem to have a lot more free time for some reason. Yeah, that may, may have some negative impact on me too. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we, um, we hope you're well. Stay safe. And we'll thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully we'll get a chance to get out and get some miles under us. So uh, y'all take care. Yeah. Thanks absolutely. for take thanks care. for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment below.